Happy Halloween, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And welcome back to another movie review. If you guys can tell by my shirt and by my Blu-ray, uh, this right here, I am going to be reviewing the original version of Stephen King's It, which came out in 1990. Uh, this was made on a budget of $12 million. And if you guys didn't know this already, um, this was a two-part miniseries, which um, basically spanned a a length of about three uh, over three hours long, and then obviously it was released to home video and DVD and Blu-ray. Um, I will go over the changes that they were made to from the v from the original broadcast to the VHS version, and then to the DVD and then to the Blu-ray, which I have right here. But let's go over the story first. The plot is basically about in 1967, preteen outcasts fight an evil demon that possesses a child killing clown known as Pennywise the Dancing Clown, played by the wonderful Tim Curry. 30 years later, they, re they reunite to stop the demon once and for all when it returns to their hometown of Derry, Maine. Um, so, yeah, um, let's, let's go over the, um, let's go over the cast first. Um, so there is two separate actors for each respective role in this movie. Uh, and I'll just go in order from, um, from my list here on my, on here. Uh, first we got, uh, Bill, um, Played as a kid by Jonathan Brandis, if uh, you might recognize from uh, Neverending Story 2. Um, some viewers might remember him from uh, Sequest DSV with Roy Scheider, which was in Jaws, which will be coming up very soon. Um, and then um, Adult Bill is played by Richard Thomas. Um, I thought. Um, well, I'll talk about my thoughts later. Um, Beverly's, uh, young Beverly is played by Emily Perkins, and, the, um, adult Beverly is played by an adult too, which you might recognize, uh, her from Superman 3 and as Clark's mom in, um, Smallville. And she played, um, Lana Lang in, um... In uh, Superman 3. Uh, we got Ben. Uh, young Ben played by Brandon Crane. And old Ben played by John Ritter. Uh, I recognize him from Problem Child. Um, Richie. Young Richie is played by uh, Seth Green. Which will go on to have a, a most the most successful career out of all the uh, young actors. And Harry Anderson as old Richie. Uh, Mike, we got, um, Marlon Taylor as the young Mike, and Tim Reed as old Mike. Uh, Eddie Kasparak, um, that's really the only, the only full name I can really remember right now. Um, is played by Adam Frazier as young Eddie, and Dennis Christopher as the old Eddie. And finally, we got uh, Stan, played by Ben Hurley, as young Ben, and Richard Mazur as old Richie, or old Stan, I mean. Um, all the kid actors, I think, do great, as well as most as the adult actors. Um, most um, The one that stand out to me the most was uh, Jonathan Brandis, which, as I, as I said earlier, um, started Never Ending Story 2. Um, also, he starred in one episode of the Flash TV show from the 90s. With, um... With... I forgot what his name was, but he played... Um... He played the Flash, and he also played his father in the NeverEnding Story 2. Um... 
Emily Perkins, uh, I thought she did pretty good in the role, even though I didn't really hear for, I didn't really see any more acting credits after, uh, It. Um, yeah, most of the kid actors didn't really go on to anything else after It. I, uh, most, um, besides Jonathan Brandis and Seth Green, who was the creator of Robot Chicken. Um, again, as I said earlier, um, most of the adult actors are more well-known, uh, in particular, and that's a tool, as I said, from Superman 3, which came out seven years before this, and will later to go and play, um, Clark's mom in Smallville. Um... Richard Mazur is another prominent actor who has appeared in a whole bunch of movies and TV shows. Um, it's funny that um, the kind of uh, to go on Mike really quickly. Both the uh, young and uh, uh, Marlon Taylor and Tim Reed appeared in um, I forgot what the, the TV show was called, but it was um, they both appeared in this one show where Tim Reed was one of the main characters and. Uh, Marlon and Terry played a guest appearance. Um, but yeah. Um, so that's it for really the the major points. Oh. Of course you can't forget about Tim Curry as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Now, if anyone remembers this movie, maybe the, the kid and adult actors, maybe. But if they remember this um it's got. It has to be Tim Curry as Pennywise, cause this performance is so memorable that it just like even I, even I enjoyed his performance here, and I have imitated it a couple times uh, to some of my cousins, which they get a kick out of it. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's really it. Uh, in terms of um. Home releases, it is kind of complicating, has a complicated history. Uh, obviously, this was a two-part miniseries, which came out in 1990, which I believe was a, which was in November or September, and it was played over two nights, um, and then it was eventually released on um, a two VHS box set, which contained the uncut versions of both parts, and then was eventually condensed into one VHS with all the content still there. But then in 2002, the DVD release came out, and that's when the problems started to emerge. Because the, the biggest problem was that um, the picture frame was um, stretched out to 16 by 9 instead of the 4 by 3 aspect ratio for modern TVs, how it was meant to look like, and it was stretched out to 16 by 9 to fill out the widescreen TVs. Uh, they also cut out um, a whole bunch of extra f uh, footage between at the end of part one and the beginning of part two to make it seamless, basically. And when they announced that this Blu-ray was coming out, which um, go really quickly over the steelbook, it looks fantastic. There's a picture of Pennywise and Stephen King's It. Um, yeah, uh, there's the spine. And there's the bag with Pennywise with his balloons that they float. And then the inside is the It Blu-ray and Pennywise laughing. There's a better look at it. Um, but yeah, when they announced this Blu-ray, um, I thought it was going to be um, the original uh, uncut version. and But most people thought this as well. But they thought we thought that this was going to be the original uncut version in standard high def, um, high definition, but we were all wrong. This was just a simple di uh, upscale of the original DVD release, which angered a lot of the fans. But the good thing about this release is that they went back to the four by three aspect ratio, which now looks uh, as it should, and it looks fantastic. Uh, the digital cleanup of this movie is fantastic. It looks great on Blu-ray. So if you guys could. Get either this steelbook, which I believe is currently available at Walmart right now, or if you guys can, get the original Blu-ray release. Because they're both the exact same version. Um, uh, that's really it for my review of Stephen King's It. 
I give this a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's a really good horror movie. Um, even though, um, since this was a TV miniseries, they couldn't really get away with a lot. I mean, there's still kills, like, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the, um, bullies. Um, uh, like Henry, Belch, and them. They're, f <laughs> they're great, uh, as, like, they're kind of menacing, but they're also kind of goofy as well. Um, and old he uh, old Henry is is so comical that it makes me laugh every time I watch this movie. Um, but yeah, I give this a seven out of ten. I I think this is a really good horror movie. Uh, yes, it is three hours long, so this is this might be a chore for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, I honestly really recommend re re really recommend this movie. And like I said, if you guys can get the Blu-ray, uh, please do either get the Steelbook. Like the steel book or the um, regular Blu-ray release, they both I they're both the exact same Blu-ray and they and they look fantastic on Blu-ray, um and yeah, um so yeah hope you guys enjoy this review and ha have a happy Halloween, live long and prosper.